Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Friday, August 23rd at midnight, 2019. That's mountain time. Take a look at this picture. Rattlesnake Ridge. Many of you are wondering whatever happened to it. Well, it's still slumping. Slow slip. And not only that, multiple fractures now emanating from the lower, steeper region, showing a compression activity here. You can see an old road there. Road to hell, basically. And probably over 20 to 30 feet of slip over the last eight months. Heavy rains, snow, who knows? Let's get to some facts. We're about to unravel another nightmare tonight of disinformation. I'm sure many of you have seen this. Snow droughts are coming for the American West. For the last two weeks, there have been over 80 headlines bloviating about snow droughts coming because of climate change. Last night, we showed you how full of sh they are. When it comes to droughts, now let's talk about snow droughts. Winter Northern Hemisphere snow extent increasing since 1967 on this graph. And this does not include 2018 and 19, which were two record years. Which would be way up here. Up, up and away. You hear the crickets? Those are real. <laughs> Total snow mass for the Northern Hemisphere this year was above average for 80% of the time and record levels here in February. And it continued. It, it like went up here and then anyway. Crickets. Seasonal snowfall in the Northern Hemisphere has been increasing since the 1920s in a big way where major Episodic events, probably triggered by the sun and cosmic rays, have caused peaking and peaking and peaking. And if I drew a general increase line here, it's up, up, and away, folks. Yes, it is. Yes, indeedy. Donner Summit. People had to eat each other, for goodness sake, back here. When it was big snow. And watch what happens. The snow goes down, 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 down. And then it starts coming up here. Whoa. In 2011. And we have record snows in the Sierra since then. Let's look. Oh, let's take a look at the daily Sierra Nevada snowpack since then. Since 2011. Holy. Sh up, up and away. In a big way. See the normal graph there. 2016, 17 off the charts, and 2019 was even higher than that. So that's like over here. Like, it's like I'm in there like swimwear. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. I know, he's crying. He's not getting bunt cake tonight because we're showing facts. Annual average Colorado snowpack, MEI, up, up, and away. Through 2017 and 2019 was another record year. We're up here by three. Boom. Up, up, and away. Nothing, there's no decrease in snowpack. There's increase in snowpack everywhere in the Northern Hemisphere. Keep calm, it's boom time. They're frauds. And they can suck it. First white stuff of the 2019-2020 season touches down in Arapaho Basin in mid-August. Are you kidding me? This is today? Arapaho Basin, known for its higher elevation, saw its first dusting of white stuff after, after the last white stuff didn't even leave. And so it begins. The glaciation. Not sure if it's snow, hail, or sleep, but it doesn't matter because Ransom is Skyping me. And that's a boom. A whole basin deep in the white. <clears throat> Storms bringing wind, hail leaves one thousands. <laughs> one thousands? 
Who fucking edited that? Without power. Hours of power. Breaking gutters and schmutters. And you're a <laughs> one thousands without power. Hail bounces off roof near Veterans Park in Billings. That's Montana. And that's the best they can do. The National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central Yellowstone County. <clears throat> the bison were taking cover under their mother and South Central Montana until 7.45 p.m. Thursday, which was their rainwater forms rivers through a layer of... <whistles> Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's like crops are destroyed. Everyone's food's lost. And it's just like, yeah. Holy Macahaley. It may seem too soon. I know. We've only just met. But August snow has just happened in the U.S. And it's happened here before. Now, here's the obfuscation from the truth methodology coming down from the higher levels. What they're going to do is they're going to tell you that it's snowed before in August. It's fine. During global warming, it's, 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 I know it seems weird, but it's happened before. Extreme low pressure, the ice disruptor. Eyes on an extreme ice smasher headed for the Arctic. Hey, have you heard anything about uh, Atlantic hurricanes or any of that? Sh I, I doubt it because there haven't been any. But what you're about to see is a low pressure system kicking ass and taking names at 970 millibars. It's boom time, kid. Hurricane in the Arctic. I don't even know why the global warmists haven't picked up on this. But this is an ice age warning pattern. Due to meridional flow. Pocketing the low pressure systems and sucking them right up your... Oh my God. This is amazing. And wait till you see how they explain it. It's fantastic. I hope you've loaded up your honey stick because we're about to do a dab together. An unusually strong storm is forecast to develop in the Northwest Territories and push into the Arctic Ocean. It's quite rare and would be more typical of late September into October. A lot of energy slams into British Columbia and then travels up into Nunavut and into the Arctic Ocean where a low pressure system of around 970 millibars will move over the Arctic Ocean and likely disrupt some of that melting sea ice as we approach um, typical minimum sea ice through early to mid-September. There's the signal, minimum at all hours. That's comparing the 12th of August to the 2nd of September. That environment doesn't really see a storm that strong, and it's going to do a number to the Arctic sea ice, currently projected to be around the second all-time annual minimum only behind... 2012. An unusually strong storm is forecast to develop in the Northwest Territories and push into the Arctic Ocean. It's quite rare and would be more typical of late September into October. A lot of energy slams into British Columbia and then travels up into Nunavut and into the Arctic Ocean where a low pressure system of around 970 millibars will move over the Arctic Ocean and likely disrupt some of that melting sea ice as we approach um, typical minimum sea ice through early to mid-September. There's the signal. Minimum at all hours. That's Okay, we're back. And we're live. Take a looky here. I'm trying to get rid of this guy. Okay. So we're going to see one of the biggest low-pressure systems ever. Maybe... Top five ever in recorded history since the 1800s. Hit the Arctic, which is uh, because of you. Because of all the CO2 that you're burning. And I want to take note of how this... I It's my prediction that because of this event, we're going to see one of the earliest kickups in a long time in Arctic ice. But I digress. Because I really love these guys. They uh, really report on the facts. And that's fantastic. Look at that. Oh, my God. What the hell are we looking at? 
Good times. Let's do it. GFS model, take a look. North American GFS model showing. Uh, I just want to uh, bring back the GFS model to where just uh, three days ago, we predicted that on my birthday there would be snow, and yesterday's model did, showed no snow. And I'm going to stick with the facts because that's how we do it here. I mean, this is all downloaded, and it's not even showing anything. This is totally insane. This is crazy. Thank you, powers that be. Okay, we'll be right back. Fire weather in the west, strong to severe storms in south mid-Atlantic. Look at how all the heat warnings have disappeared. And a small region here in Wyoming with high wind weather. Do not flick butts out of the window. Hello, if you're in Oklahoma, flood warnings and watches, as well as our Kansas up in the north west so take a look links will be below and let's check this gfs model and let's see if they're blocking us they are this is crazy let's just refresh this crazy work with me So as this runs through, because they don't want you to see the uh, summer snow that's about to happen, let's talk about more misdirection of information. <clears throat> and this is coming in the uh, misinformation about polar bears. So many bears. Dra draft plan says Nunavut polar bear numbers are unsafe. Now, let's get to the brass tacks here. There are too many. Hold up. Hold up. You hear that? That's, that's my shungite. Holy sh We got to get rid of that. A little bit of technical difficulties. Okay, beautiful. <whistles> Tragedy averted. There are too many polar bears in parts of Nunavut. And climate change hasn't yet affected any of them. Says a draft management plan from the territorial government of the people that actually live there. Contradicting much of the controversial scientific claims from the global warmists. Now, <clears throat> the proposed plan, which is to go public hearings in, in Kuala, on Tuesday, says that growing numbers of bears are causing problems in town and more encounters with polar bears than ever before and populations are increasing. But unfortunately, the global warming narrative says the opposite. So they've put an end to facts up in Nunavut. And they're just plain wrong, according to the charlatans. It's been documented in many places now, which are all fraudulent and proven such, that not only is the body condition of the polar bear affected by climate change, they're starving to death, but re reproductive rates and survival as well. Because there's no ice up there in Nunavut, which, by the way, is not a city. It's like thousands of islands. Now, if you want to know the facts, climate change has not impacted the polar bears whatsoever. In fact, their numbers have been increasing since we discovered them in the late 1950s. Yeah, there are tens of thousands of these motherfuckers and they're hungry and they're eating people and the global warming alarmists are preventing the people of Nunavut from hunting them early and keeping them out of major population centers. Just like they're preventing you from burning wood in California in your fireplace. So you freeze to death when it happens and you got to all huddle in uh, East L.A. Yeah. Escape from New York much? Now, polar bear facts and myths are well documented. Susan 
Crockford has been totally she's been ramrodded by the mainstream and the charlatans because she pr produces facts and she's in the mainstream and she says that polar bears are fine and they're growing in numbers and you're all full of shit and it has nothing to and climate change is getting colder up here and the ice is the same and everything is within normal anyway god these fucking frauds it's embarrassing so embarrassing that I'm about to show you. There it is. It's here. Whew. Holy shit. We have snow in Alberta. In BC. In Wyoming. In Montana. Now, what I want to bring to your attention is that there has been snow on the GFS model every single week. For the entire year. First time I've ever seen that since I've been reporting. And even looking at weather. So this is in the last decade. Every single week there has been snow on the model in North America. Thank you global warming. We love you. It's amazing. Yeah. Magnitude 5.0 earthquake hits Ridgecrest. Aftershock to the... Did you feel it? I felt it. Ridgecrest was hit by a 7-1 magnitude earthquake on July 5th. And as expected, we should see a aftershock of this magnitude. Which did very little damage, but I'm sure Mary Greeley is saying something else. Karangitang volcano. Boom! Look at this. It's amazing. The activity at the volcano remains high and as little has changed, except it's insane. Up, up and away. This is an uptick and we could be looking at boom time, kids. So, hold your horses on Kerangatang. It's my prediction that there is a 99.9% .9 probability Kerangatang will go boom. VEI4. Soon. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Hey! Before I continue, I just made a donation here. You should too. Come over here and send a small donation. Click the button. Do it now. Do it now. This guy's awesome. And you can give him a buck. I think he's over in Germany. Du hast ein kleines Schneewurzen. Nein. Du hast ein großes Schlong. Click the buttons and secure your... Worldwide Volcano News Update, Kariminsk, Reventador, Nevados, Jilan, Puff Puff Pass. Normal activity, plus a little bit more lava in your, look at that. Sab and Kaya puffing to 24,000 puffs. Holy shit. That's damn near the puffosphere. The U.S. is already transforming Greenland. Your carbon dioxide is got, yeah, it's melting away. And it's going to affect the whole world. And Trump can't even buy it. <laughs> Climate change will endanger the Hajj. New study warns extreme weather due to global warming, unexpected cold snaps, etc. What the fuck? Retreat is an answer to climate change. Gut, yes. Migrate now. Retreat is never an option. Retreat now. According to retreatologists, faced with global warming, rising sea levels, burning up, and dying, you must retreat. There's a paper, actually peer-reviewed, the case for strategic and managed climate retreat is peer-reviewed. And you can read it because I'm going to supply it with you. Faced with global warming, rising sea levels, and other lies perpetrated by the IPCC for decades, you must retreat. Move away from your expensive property so rich people can buy it and move in. Do it now. Links will be below. Study sea ice loss has minimum impact on weather. 
What? Research shows that reduced sea ice, cold winters, and the grand solar minimum simply happen because it's global warming. Didn't you know that? A new study says global warming causes everything. Fires are raging in the Amazon forest. Here's how you can help slow all the rainforest losses. Because they're your fault, you fucking scumbags. You've lit the rainforest on fire eating the cheap dollar store shit. The right-wing populist wave is a threat to the Amazon rainforest. And they reveal a lot about how politics light fires. What? Did you hear that a team of designers will build an iceberg-making submarine to poop out ice babies in combat sea level rise? Apparently no one told them that making glaciers on the ocean will not affect the sea level. It will affect the carbon footprint by, well... These fucking idiots. I mean, it's almost like we're in disinformation, Bill. Do you know how much carbon dioxide it would take to build one of these barges that's going to make ice cubes? that will float on the surface of the ocean, which will not affect sea level. Pop that out of your ass. What the fuck? Studies show some exoplanets may have greater variety of life than your boring planet. That you're so bored that you eat Doritos and don't do shit and play video games. Candy Crush is crushing your brain. Anyway, there's more diversity than your planet. He would never know. Highly suspicious Jeffrey Epstein was murdered. Claims victim's lawyer after receiving new information from a prison source. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. The sun is a rag and we don't need new information, but we do need shungite water because I'm about to break this shit wide open. I don't have time like this to do investigative journalism or anything, but bear with me because I'm, I got time. You fucking pricks. Now, what you're looking at is the only picture of the dead Epstein. Steinbrenner, rapist, schmuck, fuck, pedophile, extraordinaire, asshole, which every rich prick, including Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, and every... And Prince Charles and suck my dick basically sucked his, which is right below his hands here, which is frigidly. Anyway, what I want to draw your attention to is his ear. The only picture that they happen to show us shows him bleeding from the ear. <clears throat> now, I don't think any mainstream... Venue has picked this up, but I'm a smart motherfucker. And bleeding from the ear is typical of strangulation. Not hanging. It's very atypical of hanging. This motherfucker was strangled to death. Hard. And it perforated his eardrum. And he bled from the ear. And then they tied some shit around his neck and they lied to you. And he's really dead. But he was murdered. And I can prove it to you. Patechial hemorrhages of the tymphatic membrane and attempted suicide by hanging. Almost never! Only by strangulation. Unprecedented close-up view of asteroid shows rocks that look surprisingly familiar, like they were strangled to death. <laughs> On October 3rd, 2018, the Habayu Atayor. Anyway, I'm done. <whistles> That's some deep shit, man. No, I'm not done. 
let's expose the fraud that it is that is Greta Thunberg, the Nazi propagandist poster child that has been picked up by the left wing, who is carbon neutral fraud across the country has been exposed at great length by Tony Heller and Diamond. I did it a few days ago, and Tony followed up with an extraordinary expose on the fraud. I will leave you links to Greta's Dire Straits. It's fantastic. You know what even is more fantastic? Breaking news, Dr. Tim Ball wins another victory against hockey stick Michael Mann who has to pay the court costs. Suck it, bitch! Ha! What a bald fucking fraud. And to add insult to injury, Schoolie D finally and Ice-T are hopping on a track together. Tough crew, much Philly pride. I mean, these crack-smoking frauds crumbled, but they're back. They're holding it together. So damn tough. Damn the damn tough. Damn damn tough. Damn the damn tough. Chip chip up chip. tough. Rock on. Hope you got something out of the video. We love each and every one of you. The fraud expose is happening. And we love it. We love each and every one of you. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing this. Share knowledge. It makes us feel good when we know we're exposing the truth.